think this was the best speech I have ever heard him deliver. It was fun. And he seemed to be getting a lot of fun out of people heckling him and, and the feedback that he was getting. You actually felt like the union is strong. It was delivered with a lot of energy and a lot of pace. He was a little rowdy, mm -hmm. right? He was a little fun. He was engaged and enjoying the exchange. It felt like the British Parliament. Didn't you think he was sort of Mr. Smooth? We were all thrilled last night. Wasn't the president just great? And what I loved about the speech, it was true Joe Biden. I thought it was so masterful. Yeah, get a room. Uh, did Biden's address strike a chord or did it fall flat? My next guest was in the room. It was his very first State of the Union address. Joining me now to discuss newly minted Wisconsin Republican Congressman, retired Navy SEAL Senior Chief Derek Van Orden is back. Welcome back, DBO. Well, thanks for having me. Were you shouting, hmm, young man? Uh, well, I, I was not shouting, but I also was not completely quiet. And here's why. The, that speech can only be described as mostly disappointing. And when I say mostly disappointing, it's because President Biden finally had to admit publicly what Republicans have been saying for years now, that when we start negotiating the debt ceiling coming up here, uh, that Social Security, Medicaid um, are not on the table as far as uh, scrapping those programs. They are not on the table. So every single time now Hakeem Jeffries sends out a tweet saying Republicans are trying to cut Social Security and these other programs, we can just say, no, the President of the United States publicly admitted that's not true. Uh, one thing, a highlight for me, another one, was the fact that President Biden finally admitted that 70,000 Americans have died on his watch per year of fentanyl overdose. That's 140, and it's, I think, a little bit more than that. Probably 150,000 Americans have died on his watch of fentanyl overdose. What he failed to mention is that we know with 100% certainty that these precursor chemicals or the fentanyl itself is manufactured in China, then smuggled across the southern border through Mexico. We know this because it's on his own Customs and Border Patrol uh, websites. So why isn't the vice president working on those root causes? Honest to goodness, I don't know. It's shocking to me. Last month, we had 251,000 illegal immigrants enter the country. 251,000. We're housing the majority of those, we're feeding them, and we're giving them cell phones. So as long as there is a single United States military veteran homeless in this country, this is completely unacceptable. And Kennedy, I just got named as a chairman for a uh, subcommittee on the Veterans Affairs Committee that deals with veteran homelessness. Good. So if Biden wants to talk about solving stuff, get our vets off the streets. That's what I'm here to do. Yeah, absolutely, because look at the amount of money that has gone out the door since this president has been in office. You know, it is trillions of trillions of dollars for cronyism and pet projects that will do very little for the average American. Uh, but if you talk about above average Americans who have worn the uniform and who were promised so much by the federal government who have been abandoned and discarded, all you have to do is go to the federal building in Los Angeles and see yeah. tent after tent tent after tent, all with American flags in front of them. Uh, these are people who serve proudly, and they truly have been discarded like trash by this administration and other administrations, and they should be ashamed of themselves considering how much money is going out the door and how corruptly it is being spent. You nailed it. Um, you know, I'm a 100% service-connected disabled veteran. I get all of my health care through the Veterans Administration. The Veterans Administration building here in Washington, D.C. is a mirror image of the one out there in Los Angeles. It's surrounded by homeless veterans. Mm. Veterans that need mental health care, veterans that need treatment for drug and alcohol addiction, veterans that just need someone to let them know that we still care about them so that they don't commit suicide. Yeah. And the Biden administration, he really wants to solve stuff. He said, he said unity in his uh, inaugural speech 21 times. That's more than any other president in history. And he's done nothing but divide the country, and it's shameful. It's really disappointing, Kennedy. Yeah, the I polls mean, bear that out. When 62% of Democrats don't want to see him run again, I don't think the country right. is necessarily unified. And he also did not sufficiently talk about China and the multi-pronged threat that is coming from them. Uh, the, the spy balloon was just the most visible one. All right, uh, Congressman, thank you so much for your time. Good luck to you. Congratulations on your first State of the Union. You Thank delivered you very it well. much. It's great to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you.